Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture, we will solve an exercise regarding if-else statements. So here is the exercise. A four-digit number A, B, C, D is called lucky if A plus B is equal to C plus D. So we want to write a program that asks the user to enter a four-digit number. And our program should tell if the number is a lucky number or not. So these are some examples on lucky numbers. So this number 3719 is a lucky number because 3 plus 7 is equal to 1 plus 9. Another example, 3521 is not a lucky number, because 3 plus 5 is not equal to 2 plus 1. So I want you to write a program that takes a four-digit number like this and finds out if this number is a lucky number or not. So pause the video, and after you try to solve the program, come back to see my solution. So to solve the exercise, we're going to use the modulo and division operators. Suppose that the four-digit number is 1, 2, 3, 4. So the idea behind this exercise is to be able to extract each digit and then we will see if the first digit added to the second digit is equal to the third one added to the fourth one, right? So all we have to do is to extract these digits. So we will start with this digit over here. Have a look over here. 1, 2, 3, 4 modulo 10 is equal to 4. Now what about 3, 2, 1? Suppose that we say 1, 2, 3, 4, modulo 100. This will give us 34. So to get this digit over here, we have to get rid of this 4 over here, right? So have a look over here. What if we say 1, 2, 3, 4 divided by 10, modulo 10? First of all, 1, 2, 3, 4 divided by 10 will give us 1, 2, 3, because this is an integer division. And after that, we are applying modulo 10 on 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3, modulo 10 will give us 3. So this is how we will get this digit over here. And by applying the same logic, we will get this digit and this digit. So have a look over here. 1, 2, 3, 4 divided by 100 will give us 12. And after that, 12 modulo 10 will give us 2. And finally, 1, 2, 3, 4 divided by 1000 will give us 1. And 1 modulo 10 will give us 1. So now let's solve this exercise inside IntelliJ. So first of all, we want to read an integer from the user. So let's create our scanner object. So scanner s is equal to a new scanner and we'll give system.in. Now let's read the integer from the user. So for example, integer n is equal to s.nextint. And before that, let's print a message to the user. So let's say enter a four digit number. Okay? Now we have our number inside the variable n. So now we want to extract each digit. So first of all, the fourth digit will be equal to n modulo 10. Okay, so if our number is a, b, c, d, the fourth digit will be d. Now let's get the third digit. First of all, we are going to get rid of the fourth digit, so n divided by 10. And after that, we will say modulo 10. So over here, we are saying a, b, c modulo 10. So this will give us C, which is the third digit. Now let's continue. Let's say the second digit is equal to n divided by 100 modulo 10. So over here we are saying AB modulo 10, which will be equal to B. So this is our second digit. And finally, our first digit will be equal to n divided by 1000 modulo 10. So this over here will be A modulo 10, which is A. So now we have all the information that we need in order to determine if this number is a lucky number or not. So now we're going to say if the first digit added to the second digit is equal to the third digit added to the fourth digit, this number is a lucky number. So for example, let's print lucky like this. And if the condition is not true, we're going to print not lucky. All right. So let's try our program. Let's say, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4. So press enter, and as you can see, this is not a lucky number. Because 1 plus 2 is not equal to 3 plus 4. Run the program again. And now let's try 1, 2, 3, 0. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, and 3 plus 0 is also equal to 3. So if I press enter, as you can see, this is a lucky number. So our program is working. Now we have one more thing to do. Suppose that the user doesn't enter a four-digit number. Then we don't want to execute this code over here. So what I'm going to do, 
after we read the number from the user I'm going to say if n is greater than 999 this means that n is a four digit number but if this condition is not true so I'm using the not operator we don't want to execute this code over here so for example I'm going to print n is not a four digit number okay and we only want to execute this code if n is a four digit number so what I'm going to do is to add an else block over here and all this code will go inside the else block so we will move it up here like this so let's try the program let's enter for example 123 press enter and as you can see 123 is not a four digit number run the program again let's say 7391 and as you can see this is a lucky number another example 1020 press enter and as you can see this is not a lucky number now there is one more thing to do I noticed that there is a small problem with our condition over here n is a four digit number if n is greater than 999 and in the same time n should be less than 10,000 so now this condition indicates that n is a four digit number so for example run the program and now if we enter something like this for example we will see that this number is not a four digit number. So this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.